On Greenwich Court, we are very, very short walking distance to Northeastern University. So everything you see in here is staying. It's completely furnished. Uh, if you want to bring something else in, obviously that's fine, but I'm just saying everything you see, you'll see some really, really humongous like 70 inch flat screen TVs. It's all included. It's all yours. So first we have the living room. It's all nice new hardwood floors and you have black granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. Not only stainless steel appliances, but Bosch. That's a very, very high end company. You'll see what it looks like. So see the black granite. Here's a dishwasher, sink. Oh, and I believe there's an alarm system here too, guys, right by the door, see? And really nice cabinets. And by the way, do you have enough cabinets here? Check it out. <laughs> you will never run out of storage space here. So also it's worth noting that um, outside, this is your outdoor area, this belongs to you. So that'll be really nice in the spring and summertime. All right, you also have your electrical outlets, so you can plug in your laptop if you need to like be, you know, studying or whatever while you're cooking. Just a really nice common area, which I really recommend you use uh, because while well, one of the rooms will be a little bit tight on space, so uh, it could still fit a small desk, but you, it's a really, really nice area, so I would use it as much as you can. Now it's important to note that this area we're about to see, this completely belongs to just one of you. It's treated as its own bedroom. It's a, essentially its own floor. It's like a master suite. So, you know, you could talk to the landlord about maybe putting uh, some sort of divider here, just if you wanted privacy, but this is its own room with its own bath, its own TV, everything. So it has its own like wet bar, whatever you want. So exposed brick is, by the way, very, very good for uh, insulation. So absolutely no problems there. All right, let me show you the rest of this. So these are just two uh, closets with a uh, boiler related stuff in them. Uh, you can fit more stuff in there, like I'll, I'll show it. Like you can put some like boxes and stuff in there and the like, but uh, you could see if, uh, you could either put uh, a stand up closet from Ikea anywhere really in here. There's so much space to play around with. Uh, maybe if you're serious about the apartment, you could talk to the landlord about throwing one in from Ikea. They're not very expensive. I think they're like 100 to 150 bucks. And look at this. This is a 70 inch Samsung, like 4K TV. This just comes with the apartment, you know? You have recessed lighting. It leads to this area outside. So uh, this also has its own private bath. It has stone walls, just stuff you don't find here, you know? This is not something you would find in Boston. Bath, toilet, hello, I'm Michael, by the way. Uh, and here's a stand-up shower. It's really, really nice. I, I just love the stone tiling, it's really beautiful. These are like rosewood floors, by the way, it's really beautiful. So let's check out this area some more. So yeah, this really is considered its own room. When it was lived in before, just one person had their setup here. And uh, since then, it's been just kind of used as another common so you see couches and stuff but you know you can move that um and put a bed in really whatever you need to do all right let's go upstairs because the other two rooms are on the top floor sure so we're going upstairs you will see a very uh typical size room for something that's fits students. So this is a small room. I'll show you this last. So this is the average size room, which by the way, you have a main bath here. I don't know where the lights are. Sorry, I'm new to this place, but you have a main bathroom here, toilet here, bathtub here, sliding glass doors. All this stuff is really new. So again, you have a very big mirror on the other side of the hallway. So this is a typical bedroom. So this is a queen size bed and Again, you have more space, very big closets. This would be considered a good size bedroom for any student friendly apartment you'd find. So this is nice and average. Again, this has also has its own TV. As you can see, there's central air. And now we will go to the smallest room. Now this room definitely is the smallest. It has a small like twin size cot in it right now, but that is a twin size cot. You could totally put a full-size bed here. 
Um, I've seen units with this layout and they definitely support full size beds. So um, over here, you do have a big closet. You have sliding doors here. And you could use this to your heart's content, these cabinets. There's some additional space here um, if you wanted uh, to utilize that for more clothing or um, really, just really storing something. If actually, you know what would be good? This place looks lamp lit. So actually, I'm pretty sure a lamp would go there if you wanted it to. But yeah, anyway, uh, you would kind of have to make this work as you see fit. Um, there's a desk here, but if you wanted a full size bed, I'm guessing the full size would come out to about here. So you'd still have room for it, but really for this person, this is the only kind of, I guess, trick. I would say if you're gonna do studying and stuff like that, I would just do it in the common area, in the main room. So yeah, one person has a, an extremely humongous floor to themselves, and then the other person on the flip side has a much, much smaller room. So, um, yeah, uh, I suppose split that as you would, um, but that's really up to you. I know you guys have been waiting for this apartment for a while. I remember Addison, the girl I was in contact with, she was looking at an apartment on Greenwich Street, and I just thought it was the same owner. Uh, but it turns out this is actually, uh, this is actually the apartment. And... Uh, it's it was newly bought out, and if you guys do need to move in earlier, uh, I believe uh, one or two of you mentioned possibly being here in June or July, and maybe needing a place. The landlord could uh, potentially give it to you earlier, and who knows, maybe you could even do a better price. So, you know, um, just realize anything you need. If you needed to put it into the deal as an offer, that's absolutely fine. Just. Um, yeah, let us know, and I'm sure the landlord will do his very best to accommodate. So, awesome. Thanks. Um, subletting can also be done. They would just need to go through the same process. So, okay, excellent. So it would be the same uh, process as any normal applicant. Just need to make sure they qualify based on, you know, co-signer, uh, any potential credit, stuff like that. All right, guys, have a good one. All right, bye-bye.